how to import EXR from Blender into DaVinci Resolve. As you can see, these two images on my split screen are EXR files. This one looks like what you typically see when you first import from Blender into DaVinci Resolve. And this looks like what you will see in Blender. This doesn't just look like what you will see in Blender. This is the exact color transformation that you get in Blender in DaVinci Resolve. And this is also an EXR file. So I'm going to show you how to import EXR files from Blender into DaVinci Resolve and apply the correct color transformation the way it looks in Blender. So let's go to Blender and export. Here we are in Blender and this is our scene. Let's take a look at the rendered view. You can see how it looks. And for us to export an EXR, we just need to go to our output page and then change it from PNG to Open EXR. You can use Open EXR or Multi Layer EXR, but for now it's just a single EXR file we're using. There's no multi layer like all the render passes attached to it. So in Open EXR, we choose what we want. We can choose half float or full float, and then we choose the lossless code, which is DWAA. DWAA. You should always use DWAA, especially from Blender, because it brings low file size. Low file size. Sorry, and it just, it just looks good. Low file size and it looks good. No much compression and all those kind of stuff like that. Then for color management, this is actually important. We will press override just to see. When we press override, we can see it's at um, linear rec 709. That is actually the, the, um, the follow scene. So the scene of EXR is linear rec 709. EXR is a linear format. While what we are seeing here is a transformed format that means this is agx this is a, this has already applied a a color transformation curve to this image but the linear format is what we are exporting out of blender with the axr so with this let's export our axr so we are going to render and render image and here we have got our images we have the EXR file and then we have the PNG file. I rendered two of them so I'll, I'll be able to show you the comparison and show you that it looks exactly the same. So let's go to DaVinci Resolve. In DaVinci Resolve, we'll just import our, <coughs> our EXR into DaVinci Resolve. Let's bring it to here and see it. You can see how it looks. It looks like trash. You're yeah, like wondering what's going on. My EXR is broken. It's not broken. Let's fix it immediately. So let's go to the Fusion tab. And then in the Fusion tab, just for just to see what's actually going on, we're going to bring in the PNG. You can see. And let's put the PNG in the second viewer. So here we have the PNG. What you, what you actually see in Blender, this with the color transform applied, everything baked into the PNG. And here we have the EXR in linear format. So what we essentially want to do is to transform this linear format and apply the color transformation that we'll get with AGX onto this linear format. So let's do that. Once we'll press Shift and Space Bar to add a node, and the node we're looking for is OCIO. So OCIO color space, that's what we want to add, and then we'll add this. In other tutorials, after you have added this OCIO color space, some people will just tell you to change here to like linear and change here to sRGB. And you can see this, it looks, it kind of looks like it's the same thing but it's not the same thing. Instead of that, we're going to use an OCIO config. And this OCIO config we're using is the one that actually comes with Blender. Like as you install Blender, Blender gives you an OCIO config with all its color transformation in it. So that's what we're going to use to transform this EXR to look like how it looks exactly in Blender. So let's browse the OCIO config. And then let's go to our system. I'm just going to look for where the Blender files is. Program files, Blender foundation, Blender 4.2. 4.2 data files then we go to color management and there you can see config.ocio will import this and boom here we have it config.ocio so we want to change the source color space the source color space as we saw in blend at that time was rec linear rec 709 that's the same color space so this that's the source so the exr what is the exr file the exr is linear rec 709 so we're going to export we're going to change the color space to linear rec 709 and then for the output space if we press it you can see now we can see all the blender color transforms have come into um davinci resolve we have ag agx base color base srgb and this is what we are previewing in blender the agx that is agx base rgb and if we press it we can see the images are exactly the same 
exactly the same not like it looks like or is close to exactly the same color transformation and this is even crazy because we're not restricted to that if you wanted filmic you could go to filmic log and this is if you go back to blender this is exactly how filmic log looks like if you want normal filmic filmic srgb this is how filmic looks like in blender so you have different color space you can transform to and that is not where it stops after that you can even go to the look like you will see in blender oh it doesn't work here but it works in it works in standalone fusion you can you can go to the look and actually change it into like punchy high contrast low contrast all those you will see in blender if you are using standalone fusion but this is fusion inside davinci resolve but for now it works the way we want it which is this image and this image are the same thing but this image here is a png and this image here is an op is an exr file now you may be wondering why don't i just export png but then the, the beautiful thing we have is that we have all the dynamic range of exr so if you want to if you want to do like some grading or some color correction it is very important to color correct and do all those before the ocio file because if you do it after if you add a let's see color color corrector any color change you make after this um ocio color transform is basically doing the same thing that will happen if you if you this thing if you did it to this if you did it to the png file so it has already transformed the color space so what you are basically seeing here if you if you put the color transform after if you put your sorry your color grading after the ocio file what you are getting is actually what uh, the exact same thing you will get in the png file it's just like yeah it just has like a little more higher dynamic range but you're just getting exactly the same if you actually want to use the true dynamic range of the exr file we're going to place this before the ocio so that means we're going to first do the color correction then we we'll this thing then we'll apply the um, color transformation to it so color correct before color transform and now you can see you can see the difference we still have dynamic range we still have dynamic range so let's go this contrast we still have dynamic range in the image we still have dynamic range you can see we can reduce the gain and we still have dynamic range. but here let's reduce it let's see let's see let's see you can see it's already going but here we still have dynamic range so once you put your color correct before the ocio color transform we can now use the full dynamic range of the exr file in blender and that's just basically how to import exr from blender into davinci resolve the right way the only way the way you should be doing it forever and ever and ever and if you learned something new don't forget to subscribe and until next time peace